hi, welcome to Cider Lab. I'm Katie. We do ciders, parries, and jerkums. Ciders are traditionally made with apples. Parries are gonna be made with pears. And jerkum is just a really funny old English word that means we make something with pitted fruit the same style that we make ciders. So it's gonna be a peach, plum, apricot, those kind of stone fruits. We do have a rotating seasonal list, so I'll always have a flight list. My top five are gonna be our classics and then the bottom five are gonna be our seasonal rotations. So whatever's popular, whatever's in season, and whatever we can get our hands on. We do offer events weekly. So Monday is build your own burger night. You can get creative and wild, crazy, make your own burger. Send me a picture and I'll feature it on our Facebook page. Wednesdays we do bingo. Thursday is trivia night. Friday we host live music. On Saturday and Sunday, I offer brunch from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. every single day. We also offer our fantastic bottomless cider mosas. So that's gonna be a flight of three flavors of your choice with a tube of orange juice. You have an hour and a half to enjoy, refill at your pace, and mix it up to your heart's delight. I mean, and so yeah. I've been told that this is the best brunch west of I-95. Yes, absolutely. You agree with that? Yes. All right. Fantastic chicken and waffles. Absolutely love our breakfast bowl. If you're gluten-free, we have so many options for that. So if, you're, uh, if you've got celiacs, you can sit, drink, enjoy ciders, and also enjoy the food too. Cool. Yeah. And then we've also been told that the owners are scientists, so everything comes in test tubes. Yes. Like you would see in the lab. Exactly. That's awesome. All right, guys, we're here in Spotsylvania Courthouse and we're checking out a new place. Well, new to us, I've never been here, Cider Labs. And it's right here in Spotsylvania Courthouse. I got some drone footage of the area and we're gonna check it out. I've been told by the owner that it is the best brunch west of I-95. Unfortunately, today we're here for lunch. And so we're getting some appetizers. The girls are gonna get a flight. And then uh, also they have really good looking burgers. So we're gonna check it out. We'll talk more about the area later. Okay, so this is the Basil? Yes, lemon basil. Okay. So this okay. is an Asian sesame, sesame, and this is Megan mango habanero. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One sip of cider and I can't talk. Yeah, they're big test tubes though. They, they are. are big. Now, um, what's your favorite? I get you actually drink? like this lemon mm -hmm. basil more than I thought I would. Mm -hmm. And then All the right. Prosecco one is also really good. Yes. Mine is a lemon basil and the Prosecco. You can never okay. go wrong with Prosecco. So you didn't like the mango as much? It had a bite. The mango habanero, it's good, but like I just want it for like a sip or two. I don't want to like drink a whole glass of it. The hibiscus was really good. You can definitely taste enough of the hibiscus in it. Yeah. I got the strawberry rhubarb. You can taste the strawberry definitely in there. Okay. Yeah. Jess, what do you think? First view. Looks fantastic. Chicken salad sandwich. Looks like it has a little bit of cranberries in it. A lot of chicken. <laughs> got a smash burger. I'm really excited about this, the burger sauce. It looks really good. And then of course some uh, shoestring french fries that are delicious. And then I got the boring stuff. Although the burger still looks great, but it's on a lettuce wrap and a salad. So we'll see. It's delicious. It was, to, in my opinion, I, I love a Big Mac. That's just, you know, it was better than that obviously because it was fresher, real ingredients. But that's kind of what it reminded me of. It was like a really upscale Big Mac. The french fries, look how skinny and delicious and crispy they were. I can't finish them. The uh, cider flight was amazing, so I'll definitely be coming back here. Uh, one out of 10 for a lunch. For a so lunch? I'd give it an 8.2. 8.2. 8.2. Right. Jessica? Who doesn't love a good waffle fry and a sweet potato waffle fry? They were cooked to perfection. Absolutely loved the chicken salad. Big fan of chicken salad. Loved the cranberries in it. Same kind of thing. Everything else was so pulling, I couldn't eat all of my sweet potato fries. No, you guys are slacking. <laughs> I will give it 8.5. For lunch, for sure. Yeah. All right, guys, and so for my smash burger, which was egg, bacon, burger, smash burger, of course, I did it on lettuce wrap because I'm boring. And then it had some sort of like fig jam on it. I will say it was fantastic. By far, one of the best burgers I've had in a while. And I will give this rating for a lunch probably my favorite lunch I've had in the last two years. Maybe, yeah, as for lunch. Now I will say the menu is smaller, but I like that more. I hate when I'm overloaded with a bunch of different options and then I feel like they don't do good with like anything. Like they're a jack of all trades, but master of none. Where like this place had fantastic burgers. The wings were actually really good. We all agreed we thought the Asian wing was the best. And, um, but they were both good. Crispy and like, yeah, the Brussels sprouts were good. I was really, really happy. And then they gave me 
because I'm not drinking either. They gave me an extra tea to go, which is a slightly carbonated black mint lemon tea. And it has a weird bite. It's refreshing. It's really good, actually. So all that being said, I highly recommend you look at it. I live right around the corner. I did not know this place exists, unfortunately. And I, I will say I'm kicking myself in the butt. We're right in the Spotsylvania Courthouse, which I've never really done a video on, but the area is growing and really primed to grow. So all of our courthouses here, police station, um, and then apartments. And they're trying to make this place, from what I've heard, kind of like a small rest and feel with a lot of commercial on the first floor and then apartments above it. So anyway, the area is kind of primed to take off. So we'll see how everything goes. All that being said, I highly recommend check out Cider Lab. See you on the next one.